I had a dream that came into my head. And I didn't take it serious at the time because I, you know, I didn't even know if I'd ever walk again. But I, I dreamt one day I would try and, uh, and run across Canada. When the Marathon of Hope reached Toronto on July 11, 1980, Terry was met by crowds in the tens of thousands. I've never been treated like this before. <laughs> and the very next day, the run took a little known detour. The day after he came to Niagara Falls, my hometown, we we're standing right here on these steps and I remember the casual talk about his run and I remember him talking over and over about the prosthetic leg and the, and the grinding and the, and the chafing that was going on there and how painful that was. But uh, he was just bound and determined that he was never going to stop the run. And my old coach, Dan Swerson, swears that you know the reason he came here is because this is where I was from. It was the only reason why, why Terry went to Niagara Falls was to see Jay. He told me that. It's not in any book. It's not anywhere to be seen, but that's why he went. By the time Terry and Jay saw each other again, the marathon of hope had been cut short. No, I've got cancer in my lungs. And uh, we got to go home and, tr and try and do some more treatment. All I can say is that if there's any way I can get out there again and finish it, I will. But Terry's health continued to deteriorate. Then came June 28, 1981. I was in bed and the phone rang, and it was a radio station from Vancouver who had uh, called and asked me for my comment about Terry uh, because he had passed away. And uh, I, I declined to comment at the time because that was the first that I had heard about it, and I was just obviously very sad and really had nothing to say. Since Terry's passing back in 1981, Triano has been instrumental in helping keep the spirit and message of Terry Fox alive. He has been both a spokesperson and a participant in the annual Terry Fox Run. And back in 2001, right here on Burnaby Mountain at Simon Fraser University, Triano was the MC for the unveiling of this statue in Terry's honor. And just remember the goosebumps and then seeing the monument and the memories of him and his run and his parents being there. You know what, it was, it, it was, it was emotional, but it was, a, it was an incredible honor. Now, more than 30 years after they first met, Terry is still a prominent figure in Jay's life, especially this season, as the young Raptors continue to fight through some difficult growing pains. He's relevant because of the values that he taught me. Find the positive any time that things aren't going the way that you want them to go, and don't stop working. Don't stop fighting. It's helped me through not just this season, but it's helped me through everything in my life. I'm not unhappy about not making it to Vancouver right now because I know I did the very best I can. If you had a chance to speak to Terry one more time, what would you say? I'd probably say, look what you did. I mean, because you think about how far we've come and the amount of money that he's raised for research. People are going through a lot less pain. If Terry was still around, he'd be so proud the fact that uh, Jay was able to do what he has been able to do. Jay was uh, a person he looked up to and uh, Jay, was, Jay was Terry's hero. Jay was Terry's hero. What do you think when you hear that? Uh, how, do you, how do you accept something like that from a guy who did what he did? I mean, it's, uh, I remember uh, after he had cancer, and he stopped his run, he came back to watch a game up at SFU, and he asked me for my autograph. I was just like, are you kidding me? I mean, you're one of Canada's greatest heroes of all time, and you want my autograph? I'm just one member of the Marathon of Hope. I'm no different from anybody else. I'm no better, I'm no lower, I'm, no, I'm equal with all of you. You know, I think we're all inspired by different things in our lives. And I think that uh, sometimes it's a movie. Uh, sometimes it's uh, a book you read, but to be inspired by a guy who you see work every day and to know him as a friend, I just feel fortunate that it, you know, it didn't happen in a book or a movie, it happened with somebody that I actually knew.